Hey, what's up, guys? It's I Run here from My Device Forums, and I gotta get into this tutorial really quickly today, cause it's gonna be a long one, and I only got 10 minutes. All right. So now that we have our uh, repo up, you guys are gonna want to create themes and submit them to us to be hosted on the repo. Now, what you're gonna want to do to make it our lives easier to host it there is to make a .deb. So I'm gonna show you that how to do that today. So first you're just going to want to create a folder on the desktop called cool theme. Now we don't want any spaces in it at all. Alright, so you're going to want to open it and you want to create two new folders, one called Debian, all space, I mean all caps, and then we're going to create another one called library. And inside library we're going to create another new folder called themes, and inside themes we're going to create another new folder called your theme. I mean, well, it's gonna be your theme dot theme. So, in my case, it's cool theme dot theme. All right, and inside here, this is where you put all your um, theme content. So the icons, the bundles, the wallpaper, the lock, lock screen. And then we're gonna go back to the roots of it. So we have review library themes cool th your theme dot theme. So if you're making a theme called hot theme, it would be hot theme dot theme. And then you all your package contents. All right. And then in the Debian folder, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new text document. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. You can click Control A, and you're going to want to just put in Control. No extension or anything. Otherwise, it will ruin it. So there we go. No, no extension. So and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to paste the template that I will that I give you guys in um. It'll be in the description for the control file. So I'm just gonna copy it from my uh from my other um my boot logo. So we're just gonna we're just gonna, you're gonna edit you can uh, right click and you can edit with notepad, wordpad, whatever, but I'll be using notepad plus plus. Alright. So um what we have here first is package. Package is basically the website reversed. So if you're making it for iDevice forums, it will be net .ideviceforums your package name. <coughs> so ours will be, in my case, net .ideviceforums cool theme. The name is basically what's gonna show what's gonna show up as in Cydia. So it's gonna be cool theme. And then version is basically what what you think it is version. So it's gonna be the initial release, so it's just gonna be 1.0. And then architecture, you do not want to touch this. Uh, you just want to keep it at iPhone OS dash ARM. Do not touch that. Then description is basically what you, what it is. Basically, a small blur about your theme. So it's gonna be, be called a cool theme do. All right. And then homepage, basically, is your uh, your iDevice forums. Um, your uh, your profile link. So if you go into your profile, as you can see here, welcome back, Iron. You click your name, and then here, copy this link, and then you're gonna paste it in there, and there you go. And then depiction, depiction, deception. I don't, I don't know what that means, but you're just gonna want to put iDeviceForms.net, and then maintainer. You're gonna want to put my name, Trevor Davies, and then my email address, Iron at iDeviceForms.net. Author, you're just going to, want to put your name, space, in parentheses, your username, and then space, your email address, inside the brackets. In sections, basically what category you want it to show up in. So you're making a theme, so you're just going to put it themes. And then depends, so if you're making a theme, um, you're just going to want to... Uh, you're gonna want it to depend on Winterboard. So it basically checks when it's installing your theme. If you do not have Winterboard, install Winterboard with it. So so for that you're just gonna put in Winterboard. Now usually if it's uh, coming from something else, let's say um you're making a boot logo and it depends on animate. So what you're gonna want you would want to put in is uh I think it's net dot chronic chronic dash dev dot animate. You would basically put in the package name for that. So, but for Winterboard, it's just Winterboard. All right, and then you just go after after you have all that, you're just going to click Enter. You want to have a new line always, otherwise it could really screw it up. Click Save, and there we go. Now here comes the fun part. You don't want to SSH into your iDevice, one SCP. You can download that from Google. Um, if you don't know how to do that, uh, just 
look at my tutorial and I'll show you how to. Alright, so you're going to want to SSH into it, put in your password. Alright, so it brings you into the root of your iDevice, which is really good because we can just, there's not many folders, all you see is library and media. So here we go, we have our um, our folder for cool theme. Just going to drag that in, click copy. Alright, so now we have three folders. We have cool theme, library, and media. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to either click control T or this little, um, this little box up top which looks like it says mom <laughs> you wanna click that and you're gonna wanna put in your password alpine which is the default which you should really should change it I'll probably do the video on that soon um so what you wanna do is you're gonna say enter command so we're gonna build the Debian file right here so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna put in D P K oh wait I can't believe I almost forgot this before you even do that you need to open up cool theme and then you want right click on the Debian file click properties and you want to change this to um where it says octal you want to change that to 775 click OK and then you want to go into the control file click properties and change this to um, 775 back I can't believe I almost forgot to do that that would have been bad alright so now you're just going to open up uh, the terminal again now what we're going to want to do is we want to put in dpkg space dash b space whatever your theme name is. So mine's cool theme. So we're just going to put cool theme. Now we're going to click execute. And uh, usually you will get three error or, or warnings uh, about about the name, depiction, and author for the uh, control file. That's fine. That's basically normal. And once what it says, building package net dot device forums dot whatever your theme is in cool theme dot deb. All you want to do is click close, and there you go. Now you have cool theme dot deb. Drag that to your desktop, and you have the um basically all the folders. Now what you're gonna want to do is when you when you send this to device forums, you're going to want to add it to an archive. So um basically uh you can use you can use seven zip you can just zip it uh, which we recommend because you're gonna when you send this to us we want um we want the the folder with the control file in it and we want the deb so just zip it as you can see here upload it to mediafire and you will want to put it into the um under the jailbreak talk tab you want to put it into submit a package and in there you can just link it to us and we will soon hopefully put it up within 24 hours so yeah guys uh basically that's it well i showed you how to create a debian fo file for uh us to host on a repo on Windows, um, basically to do it on Mac, it's easy. There's basically a program to do it, and it's about the same thing on Linux. Basically, to do it on Windows, it's probably the hardest one. So, uh, yep, uh, pretty uh, long video I had here today. So hopefully you guys got something out of it, and I can't wait to see what you guys create for the um, repo. All right, see you guys later.